guys, and welcome to the channel. Today we have something totally different, a Mopar. Yes, yes, it is like an arch enemy, but not so much. I, at Complete Street, we respect all cars, except those that believe that stance is a thing. So with that said, we have a 2019 Dodge Ram that uh, uh, we just brought in. You just saw the initial dyno, it's a baseline. And uh, I'm gonna just jump ahead in the video a little bit here, but it put down 326 rear wheel horsepower and 332 rear wheel torque as its baseline. And what are we gonna do to it? Well, we're gonna add a Whipple to this bad boy using Whipple's tuner kit. We're not gonna tune it in-house, but we are gonna dyno it so we can see the gains. So uh, let's let Eric uh, show you guys a little bit about the car and what's different about it that we don't really have in the GM side of the world here. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll convince a couple of you guys to at least look at Ram and then not buy it. Okay, to the video. Yeah, this is, a little, I think, a uh, 2019. Look at the dash. Well, I, I'm, I'm short, so how about you? Didn't they go the up dash? a little higher? Yeah. Look at that. Man, I like my Denali, but damn. Right? That's at least 12 inch screen. It just never ends. That's a little weird, but it's a knob you turn. There you go. I'm fascinated by this dash. It's super clear. What's that mean? There's like a light pointing down. Is that supposed to be low beam? Might be. I mean, I like this too much. I mean, you can be that guy with two boosted trucks. <laughs> Does it have a pink center console? I like my pink center console. It's not as big as the Denali. Protractor on the center console. Look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, you can't, it's going to be hard to see. Uh, you can kind of see it. Like, what is all that? There's a ruler there, angles and stuff. I don't know why they would have that, but that's pretty cool. Maybe if you go like camping or something, I mean, you got, can like calculate the stars. I, mean, I can't really read it because it's not like weighted out. Hold on, I got to evaluate this truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Pull on. Parking brake. Oh, it's yelling at me because someone rolled it on the dyno. That's why it's doing it. Wow, it still has a CD drive. It's like tucked down here. That might be a DVD player. Well, that would make more sense. <laughs> well, there's the numbers. So it won't, it won't hold a gear just like the other one. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I wonder why not. I'm not going to look at the torque number, but horsepower should be... Um, it's not going to be accurate on the red one. That's weird. Let me trim this grass. I want to get rid of that last gear on this red one here. There we go. I could trim them all down there too, but we'll just ignore that. And this is where the baseline is. So, 300 and... That's torque. And yeah, the horsepower is accurate. 332 and 325. Mm-hmm. Well then. I mean, even the torque's accurate, because even though this looks significantly higher, it's not the peak. It's over here. So, 343 and 345, torque. All right. How oh, exciting. I didn't even get to run it. I did get to look at it, though. How big is this? Look how big this back door is. Wow. You don't get them on the Sierra. So, if I had the Denali Ultimate package, I would have them. I had the... the the grandpa fixed ones and I took them right off. I like it. There's a lot of room back here. There's a ton of room back there. The only thing that trips me out is this weird little design they have here. That's probably just part of the limited package though. Yeah, but what is that supposed to be? It's almost like a stingray. A really long one. <laughs> it's almost like it's trying to be like pinstriping. Yeah, not a fan. It's a, uh, it's a big blower. I think someone heard that you uh, you know how to do Whipple installs on Ram trucks. Someone, huh? It wasn't me. Yeah, I know. I gotta say, working in a performance shop is like opening someone else's presents on Christmas. I was just thinking that. <laughs> this is. This is somebody else's presents. 
that they paid for themselves. Yeah. So these cranks get double pinned. But I like the fact that this comes with its own drill bit. That's cool too. That's and it. it has a collar on there. So you don't go too far. So you don't go too far. You go just the perfect amount. That's cool. I see you're about to torque the lower manifold. Well, the lowest manifold is on. This is like the. Uh, uh, it's like a three. It's kind of like a three-piece setup, right? You have the lower, yeah, the intercooler part, and then the blower. Right? You call this the upper intake manifold. Is that the blower? No, the, that's. Upper intake manifold? Lower? That's what I thought, but apparently that is. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is a lower and upper. It's kind of like those uh, fast intakes where it's like a two piece.
but I mean, it's definitely more than stock. <laughs> so we're in the right direction. So that Dodge Ram really impressed. Uh, just for a base, well, just for a packaged supercharger setup, uh, so the Whipple and the Whipple Tune, I mean, this thing picked up 150, over 150, 152 rear wheel horsepower over the baseline and 125 foot pounds of torque. I'm sure this thing is a monster now compared to where it was because that's like a 33% gain. That's a lot. That's, that's a heck of a lot. So the final numbers coming in at that 478 and 457 that you guys saw, really, really, really impressed with that. See, I have my cheat sheet right here. That way I am like actually giving you accurate numbers this time because sometimes we have subtitles that say, whoops, my bad. But that's really cool. That truck is really nice. I'm sorry we didn't get uh, a lot of great footage about the truck to show you guys it more, but uh, I mean, we're just trying to get it out, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it is a really nice truck. Dodge really hit it out of the park with their new Ram. Uh, very impressed with it. And I like that center screen. Kind of reminds me of that Tesla of mine now. But uh, very cool, very very awesome, great gains. Uh, very easy to work with, too. So highly recommend it. You can get that Whipple right from our website, CSPRacing.com, if you do have a Dodge Ram. So hit it up. And, uh, yeah, that's just a shameless plug. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more content. We're going to try to continue with the domestic platforms. Uh, we, well, you guys know that we do a lot of GM. There's a lot of GM going on here. And those are the CSP headers. We only have eight of them left. So uh, we are running out of stock, but I did put up a pretty cool deal for those of you guys looking for the CSP 6th Gen Camaro headers. Uh, we have a delayed shipment if you guys are willing to wait. I know that we are getting into that season where we can wait for things because some of you guys are just storing the cars for winter, so it might save you a couple bucks there. But uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Adios.